Hello dear friends, this video is kind of random blah 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 with uh, maybe a story if you call it a story and uh, and uh, answering some friends request I got some people asking um, <clears throat> having sent me some message sending me message and request a video talking about food about our relationship with uh, with food and about uh, uh, self-confidence, being being a young 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 girl, being a girl, being a young lady, how to deal with, um, how to face the world, and uh, and I think uh, <coughs> several several a different different kind uh, request. Um, I am nothing to, to to to. I don't have much to offer to other people as uh, um, <clears throat> as uh, a question answer. It's um, it's a great honor that you even consider me, even consider me as uh, a source of uh, of asking question, and uh, I always think that. Uh, being wanted and uh, and being asked for help by itself is um, is a great honor because people people give you the chance to to people just care about you right to and uh, it is a great honor and people take you as something and uh, and uh, take you as uh, as uh, a big deal or small deal and take you as something not ignoring you it's a, a great honor <clears throat> so let me start with this s not really a story yes i yesterday i went to this uh, coffee shop and uh, found this one and in front of me, it was uh, evening time, everybody was tired, and I think uh, the coffee shop, the coffee shop uh, um, cashier, she, she's a very nice young lady, and I think she is also, she was tired at that time, at that hour. It's, uh, I finish my class and send my kids to hockey, and uh, so it's around uh, six o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, sometime there. And then I was buying my coffee, and uh, <clears throat> in front of me there was a young gentleman, and um, I think he's a very smart guy. He he looks very sharp and smart, and, uh, and the kind of guy that you call smart addict, right? And um, <clears throat> he was paying money, paying some five dollar a cup of coffee. How much can that be? Five dollar, two dollar. If he buys some uh, some. Uh, um, um, pastry or something it could be five dollar, six dollar, and then he was looking like uh, making um, a lesson to the cashier lady, and said, "Yeah, I give you five dollar twenty seven, and you should return me three dollar twenty eight, and because I already pay you the la, and then you didn't pay me the la, and then the poor girl, the cashier girl, was." Uh, was so embarrassed and uh, because the smart alec guy was so smart and so quick it is really hard to follow all the source anyway um, it take them five minutes ten minutes or, or I feel it should take them ages to finish this this uh, argument anyway I, I am a, a person against argument Anytime, anything, when there is argument, I'm not happy. I don't think it can solve any problem. And uh, um, the the young lady was was kind of criticized by that guy and 
cannot be so happy. And I feel I feel for the for for the young lady, the cashier lady. And um, because uh, I'm always not smart, although I'm good at uh, mathematics. No, let's don't say good or bad. Although we can, I just don't uh, don't like that way of talking with the people with, with people and. Uh, and criticizing people's way, people's way of measuring and and things. And, uh, so when 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 you do shopping, you say, "Oh, why do you give me so few? Give me more." Always at this time, you get less. And uh, what I have learned, any time when I say, "Wow, you give me so much," I always end up getting so much more. And um, uh, no matter I intentionally say this or not intentionally, I do feel, oftentimes I do feel, now the service people, the people in the service industry, in the food industry, it's it's already a hard business and people are really making their very best effort to satisfy the customer, satisfy everybody. Nobody was trying to, to make a harsh time and to, to give you less and uh, make that money and it's not their business it's not their 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 they are not the owner it's just uh, working for others you, usually people are generous and i do feel people are very generous so i say wow you are so generous and they always end up giving me much more <laughs> <laughs> then if I say, wow, how can you give me so few and so so less, so small? Don't You do not need to argue. This is just, uh, just the fact that when you say something good, something nice, people always give you a better result. So I, I bought my coffee and I found this. It's so difficult to get this one out. Oh. And uh, then I found this uh, this tea. This tea, and it's on the on the clearance section. So beautiful, and they are putting it on clearance. So it's a special sales clearance or sales. Anyway, maybe the season is already gone. They are going to change something new, and uh, I bought it. And uh, I do not know the price, so I check with that lady how much does it cost. And uh, it is written a price. And uh, I s asked her, uh, hello, beautiful. I, every time I go to shop, I, I, I say hello, beautiful. If it is a young lady, if, if, if they are... On the other side, she, uh, the the cashier is a lady. If, uh, if, um, <clears throat> yeah. and uh, she was so nice, and uh, with this beautiful smile, just to crack your heart when you see people smile for whatever reason. And uh, she was not sure about the price. And she went to check about the price, but other people are buying. I said, okay, no need to check it. It is uh, such a beautiful packaging, and uh, whatever price is not that expensive, I'm buying it. And uh, she gave me a discount, a $1 discount. And uh, I was just feeling... I'm sure she has the right to do that, to give a, a manager special or whatever code. I, do, I have never worked in retail, um, uh, or retail or service industry. I think all these managers in, in the shop, they have this or that kind of code. code. And uh, I read in the Yahoo News once there was one pregnant lady and she went to have dinner with their family, and the manager gave her um, a manager special. It's a discount for $17 something, because 
uh, uh, pregnancy, expecting mom special. Anyway, <laughs> so <clears throat> I know she's not doing anything that uh, jeopardizing her job and uh, and endangering her job security, but um, why does she give me one dollar discount just uh, because? I say hello, beautiful. I smiled because I, I, I feel it is a very good um, relationship. Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Every time I go to coffee shop, I go to any place, I try to enjoy, and um, just. Do not expect much, expect much. If you expect, every time you expect a perfectly made gourmet coffee, you may end up disappointing. You expect nothing. And you take everything they give you, any extra as a special, then you will feel happy. You go to a coffee shop, don't expect a fluffy foam, a just the right temperature. Some people like hot, some people like warm, lukewarm. And uh, you have each person has a special, just that degree of temperature you feel the most comfortable. Do not expect it. You expect, always expect it's lower than your temperature or higher than you, your temperature. And just by chance, if it is meets your temperature, it will be an extra. And if it does not satisfy your, your <clears throat> ideal temperature, it's just uh, supposed to be. How about that? And if it is not as fluffy as you like, or it is not as flat as you like, just take it for granted you are getting a very plain coffee. Anything better than the plain one will be better. And this is my way of enjoying coffee in the coffee shop. Lower your expectation. Expect nothing. You will end up enjoying something. Anything better than that is an extra. So I just feel she's so nice. And uh, her kindness, her nice, just because... There is a communication. There is a heart-to-heart -heart communication. And um, if you are too smart, Alec, and you think everybody is not as good as you, nobody can calculate as good as you, maybe you work in the bank or you work as a lawyer, you are good at words or, or, or good at calculating, nobody is good like you, as you, then you end up not enjoying. And if you think your, yourself is just a super-duper dummy person, everyone is better than you, you end up enjoying the company of everyone else. Anyway, so I was just feeling so grateful. And um, I came back, checked the price. Actually, I already got got the good price, got the discount price. Their website price is much better than what I get for this one. And one dollar extra. And I got the, um, the coupon for when, when you buy um, a container of tea or something, tea or coffee, or a bag of coffee, you always get a coupon. Gosh, I got all this happiness. And uh, yesterday was an extremely hard, harsh day. And uh, I was not supposed to work that much, but because uh, uh, workplace, something happened, some colleague was sick or something, and uh, I worked extra. And uh, it is just fair. All my suffering, my pain, and my extra got this beautiful, touching heart reward, one dollar reward, worth 
than a million. It brights up my day. Yeah. I'm a cheap person. One dollar can give me the joy of one million dollars. I'm just this cheap. This cheap. C H E A P. I am very cheap. I am very cheap. Very easy to be satisfied. <coughs> So I got this beautiful tea, and I'm very happy with it. So maybe we can continue with our uh, talk on the. Uh, let me continue with with food. Some friends struggling with food, with eating because uh, um, he or she got into so much into eating. And uh, I will not talk only about eating. I'm talking very generally and uh, very comprehensive. You know what is very um, very non-target, a general way of talking. Anything, do not take it too serious. And uh, if you think it's a big thing, you give you give yourself too much pressure on. It's just a meal. Eat more or less. It's okay. Today you eat more. Tomorrow you eat less. No big deal. If you think too much, oh, today I eat one more bite. I'm so guilty. I'm. So, I did, I did, I did, this is the end of the world. I eat one more bite. I cannot suffer it. Tonight I cannot sleep. I have to work out the whole night, walking, running, or, or, or drinking tea so that I can get rid of that, uh, that extra bite of energy. This way you get yourself too much pressure. Everyone has his own flaw, has his own flaw. I am a flawed person. This is a famous saying. Now I think somebody will patent this sentence. If you check Yahoo, you will find this sent- sentence. I'm a flawed person. <laughs> yeah. And, um, <clears throat> whoa. Got a long message, and uh, where, where were we? Yeah, do not take it uh, as uh, too much a big deal. Do not give yourself too much pressure. You eat more, okay? Eat more. Next time you eat less, and uh, it's not such a big deal. It's not the end of the world, and uh, everybody has its own habit and his own way or her own way to deal with it. And and for example, uh, if you are eating more in a particular season, maybe that season is not your best time. We all eat more, not all. A lot of us eat more in winter, and uh, we end up eating more, exercise less because it's cold out. It's cold outside. You do not want to get outside, and just not as active as summer. So don't worry. When summer came, you when summer comes, you will get back into this active attitude. It's it's always a circle. So do not do not worry too much about it. And uh, <clears throat> some people do not eat breakfast. It's not, it's nothing wrong. It's nothing wrong. It's your habit. There is a rule, there is a rule how much food you can eat. It's the rule for dummies. It's the rule not for you. It's the rule for book. It's the rule for teaching. It's not the rule for practice. You are yourself. You live your own life. Everyone has a special thing. Everyone has a a habit that is not tolerable by other people. Some people do not eat breakfast. This might be intolerable for another person who eats breakfast. Some people take salty fish as breakfast. This may not be possible, may not be 
intolerable for a person who eats cereal for breakfast. It is actually the same. For people who eat salty fish to eat something very strange for breakfast, cereal is intolerable. It's everybody has his own, her own habit. Some people do not eat lunch and eat a big dinner. If you do it that every day, you will figure out a method to deal with it. For example, you sleep late, or you get up early in the morning to do exercise. Whichever way, you will find your way. What works the best is your habit, or is your routine. You always walk a certain way, and your body build up an immune system or digestive system to get along with your habit. There is no good habit, no bad habit. It's just a habit. Take it neutral. It is a neutral word, habit. And you get along with your habit. So do not put too much blame on yourself, oh, I eat too much, or, or something. You gain weight, two months later you will lose that weight. Don't worry, okay? What makes us really change our, 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 our weight, make us gain weight? I think my personal experience is pressure, is working too much. In the old time, when we have hard time, we do not have food, we lose weight. But nowadays, when we have pressure, the way we get away from pressure is eating, is doing less exercise, is taking rest, and um, all these things. You, 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 you suffer too much on your physical, on, on your spirit, your, your, your pressure on other things and then you treat yourself with food and uh, and that's uh, I think that's the way we get we gain weight and um, and also if you work too much you are too tired when you go back home you finish the dinner and you cannot even get on to do other things you fall asleep that's the way we gain weight a lot of people, a lot of us gain weight. A few days later, this circle will, this period, this cycle will finish and you will go back to a new cycle, new energy, full of energy. And, uh, and also, this takes time to understand. When you are 20 years old, you are a young kid. When you are 30 years old, you are a young kid. When you are 40 years old, you are still a young kid. You do not know your body. When you are as old as me, as ancient as me, as antique as me, myself, as Yang Hai Ying, if you become an antique as Yang Hai Ying, become an old like me, you know your body. You know what works for you, what do not work for you. And you know your, sec your cycle will come back. So, nothing wrong. Anything, if there is anything wrong, is your own fear. It is true for eating, it is true for work, it is true for your study. It is true for art, for learning. You want to do a piece of painting, you want to make it best, you want to make it perfect, you want to make it as pretty as possible, and you want to get an even color. How about if you make one uneven color? You will feel guilty. You, 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 you will feel you will get intimidated by your own mistake. You will be scared by your own mistake. How about if you are not afraid? Take a piece of paper. It's just a piece of paper. One dollar a piece of paper. Two dollars, three dollars at most. So what? 
right? So if you do not scare yourself and if you just let it go, relax and get along with what is given, things will be much easier. My finger looks so red because of the light. Anyway, so what? So about food, about taking examination. Yeah, my my children are taking examination right now, and this is examination season, and. Uh, and when there is examination, you you can some question. There's there are some question you can answer, some question you cannot answer. And if you stuck into this unanswerable question that you do not know, the question you do not know, you stuck on it and do not move on, you will fail. And if you Forget about that question. Keep moving on. Flag that one. Moving on. And when you have time, go back to check it out. You will have better result. Right? So when you have a more relaxed heart and accept yourself, accept that we are flawed person. We make mistake. We are not perfect then things will become much easier and you will end up doing much better. Sorry, I'm taking too much time to, do, to talk about this uh, useless stuff. And um, what I'm trying to say, it's just um, Make peace with yourself, accept yourself, and uh, it's no big deal, not a big deal. It's okay to make some mistake, and it's okay from time to time to eat more. It's such a teeny tiny thing, that's not worth too much of your attention, okay? Do you hear me? Then you become much relaxed. And oh, and uh, another thing is finding other things to do. When we uh, when we are disappointed, when we are depressed, when we lose our direction, we are aimless, lost our direction, we usually end up doing the wrong thing, eating, because we have nothing to do. And you do not have hope. If you have a friend, you have an appointment tonight or tomorrow evening or Saturday. You need to dress up. You need to look your best. The whole week you will not overeat, right? There is a goal in, in it. And if you are going to meet your girlfriend, your boyfriend tonight, of course, lunchtime you will not overeat. You want to make... You want to make sure you always look your very best. At least you are making your effort to achieve your best in the evening, right? For the dinner, for the for the for the dinner meeting or, or evening meeting or anything. When you have something to do, you will forget about doing the wrong thing, and you will not have time to do the wrong thing. And um, and also, uh, diversify your interest. When you are scared about uh, about food, about eating too much, about doing something too much, you always think about it, and you think guilty. You think achievement when you have a have a weight at your at your bathroom. You always look at it. Forget about it. 
Okay, just to live your 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 life the way you usually live, and um, and lunchtime. Take a walk. If you have thirty minutes lunchtime, let's say one hour lunchtime, instead of running into the restaurant immediately, go to walk around the street to look at the tree. If there is a shop, so there are shops or something, go to look at the shop, a bookstore, a coffee shop, and spend some time. And then you will have only. Uh, only enough time to get a, a a light food, right? Or anyway, do something else. Have a walk, chat with friends, and uh, and uh, yeah, you know what you want to do, right? You know, you know, you know. You know, you know, you know, you know. Anyway, ding 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 dong dang da, do di dong da, da di dong ding dong ding dong da. So that's uh, more or less uh, what I want to say. Just Some uh, some uh, 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 memory card space for taking pictures. Right, uh, see you later, alligator. Bye bye. If you run, such a beautiful bull. Such a beautiful. I think I've seen that already.